Hey there, my artists. Today we're gonna learn how to make a Smaller Things marker print. It's easy to get caught up worrying about a lot of the big things going on during a time like this. So I want us to take a moment to appreciate the smaller things in life. For me, one enjoyable small thing is getting to see my plants thrive by growing and putting out new leaves. I'm going to walk you through how to make this cute plant drawing, but if you would like to make your own drawing, then go ahead. All right, so getting started on our plant drawing, I'm going to make a skinny oval kind of in the middle of my paper, halfway up. Then I'm gonna draw two more skinny ovals on either side. This is gonna be the top of the planter for our plants. Then I'm going to make a round shape for a basket for the center planter. I'm gonna be making regular planters on the other sides. That way it kind of balances out the picture. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with the middle planter and I'm gonna start by drawing three stems. So the middle stem is gonna go straight up and the other two are going to fan out on either side. So the middle plant that we're drawing is called a monstera and it's known for its large heart-shaped leaves. So I'm gonna be drawing three large heart shapes for my leaves. Make sure that the angles of your leaves match the angles of your stems. Next, we're gonna draw a line going down the center of the leaf. So the Monstera is also known as a Swiss cheese plant because it has really distinct cutouts in the leaves. So I'm gonna be drawing little triangle shapes cutting out the leaves. Now, we're gonna have two at the bottom and then two closer up to the top curve. I'm gonna be following these same directions on the other two leaves. Now moving on to the left planter. I'm gonna start this little guy off by drawing four lines coming out of the top of the pot. This plant is going to be a pothos. Similar to the Monstera, it also has heart-shaped leaves. However, these leaves are a lot smaller and it's a vining plant, so that means they grow down the pot. To start the pothos, I'm gonna draw little heart shapes at the tops of those lines. Next, I'm gonna draw lines creeping down the pot. These are going to be the vining stems of the pothos. Some of your lines can be longer or shorter than others. Then I'm going to draw more heart-shaped leaves going down those vining stems. Now on to the last potted plant. Over here, we're gonna be drawing a pilea. So the pilea only has one stem coming out from the bottom of the pot. It's gonna be a little bit thicker, but I'm going to have it tapered up at the top and have it be bigger at the bottom. Then we're gonna have little stems coming out from the top. They're going to grow up and out. At the end of these little stems, we're gonna be drawing oval shapes with little dots inside. Pileas are also known as money plants. Closer to the middle of the pilea plant are tiny baby leaves. These little leaves sprout out when the plant is happy. Now I'm gonna start adding some details to the planters themselves. I'm gonna draw a little lip on this one to make it look like a terracotta pot. In the middle, I'm gonna give handles to the basket. Now, I started out making the handles kind of go down at the bottom, but I decided it kind of looked like dog ears and it wasn't exactly what I wanted. So feel free to kind of play around with your designs on your planters and on your pots and see what you like.
Now our beautiful planters are done, but they're floating in space, so we need to draw the tabletop behind them. I'm gonna have that horizontal line sit up behind the pots so it looks like they're sitting on top of the table rather than falling off the edge. All right, so this next step is probably one of the most important ones. I'm using a waterproof black marker to outline all of my pencil lines. I'm doing that not only so my lines will look nice and bold, but I'm doing it with a waterproof marker so the marker won't bleed into the water that we're gonna be using next. If you use a washable marker, that water will just make it smear and smudge and we do not want that. So once you're happy with your pencil line drawing, we're going to trace over every part that we wanna keep with a waterproof marker. Um, and then we're gonna erase the pencil lines that we don't want so they don't peek through. All right, time for the marker part. We're gonna be using a piece of tin foil that is a little bit bigger than our drawing paper, and we're gonna just color on the tin foil. So I've picked three analogous colors. These are colors that sit next to each other on the color wheel, green, yellow, and blue, and I'm just gonna color them in patches, kind of randomly. Um, you can pick whatever colors you want to color, but make sure they are friends, they sit next to each other on the color wheel. If we use opposite colors, they're just gonna mix and make brown, and we wanna keep our colors nice and bright. Alrighty, so now it's time to give our tin foil a little bit of a spritz. This is going to make the color of the marker transfer onto our paper. So once I have a nice little spray going, I'm going to take my picture and I'm going to place it face down on my tin foil and I'm gonna to start to press down. So you're gonna to start to see the water in the marker seep into the paper. And I think I'm gonna add a little paper towel on top, that way I don't get marker on my fingers and hands. So you're gonna rub the back of your paper for couple seconds or so and then you're going to peel back the layers we're gonna take a look at what we've got and there you go guys I hope you enjoyed learning how to draw our cute little house plants and I cannot wait to see what you guys do for your smaller things drawing